Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to the Shinobi Broken channel. Today we're going to be playing another game with Shang-Chi uh, and Marvel Champions, of course, a uh, fantasy flight game, or deck, uh, living card game, I should say. We're going to be playing fan-made hero Shang-Chi, designed by the Design Hacker, who you can find in the um, custom content for Marvel Champions Discord, which is linked to previous Shang-Chi videos. Um, we're going to be playing a different deck build than I've previously played with them. We're playing uh, Aggression. I I started playing him Justice because I thought he had enough attack events, but I just was not doing as much damage. And I'm now deciding that I'm going to be playing Aggression. And I now realize that the modular included being nothing besides his Nemesis. I'm going to actually go ahead and take out his Nemesis. Modular I will include will be a minion heavy modular. Uh, you will not see until I get shuffled. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over the deck construction. Um, like I said, he's built, is that it? No, we got one. He is built aggro, so we're going to be, we're gonna built him like a minion slayer type deck because he has very low hit points. Matter of fact, let me just get these out of the way. We can keep his, leave his obligation in there. We're just going to go ahead and put it in there. Um, he's built very minion slayer -y. You can see his 15 hero cards in my review of him. In another video later earlier on the channel. So let's just go ahead and get into our basic cards. So we have Mockingbird just to stun, uh, Helicarry to reduce cards, and we have our three resources. So nothing really in the basic, but we can go ahead and look into our, this is where we really get our aspects. Our aspect cards is really where we get our, our shine, I guess. So Hulk to hopefully do a lot of damage. I realize we do not have a lot of fist resources. We're going to be doing a lot of damage to ourselves and others. So it's good that we, or all the other characters on the field. So it's going to be good that we have a full recovery and other cards that can heal us. Um, so we have Hulk, who can deal 3 damage by himself, but usually 15 to 16 with his deal 1 damage to each character, which would be good. Tigra to heal and be a continuous attacker slash blocker. Um, 2 Relentless Assaults to deal with some nasty... Um, Nasty Minions, which I realize we don't have a lot of fists after going over this, which I should probably include others, but we do have a decent amount of wild, so should we, we should be good. Uh, two Moment of Triumphs, so that when, whenever we deal a, um, or whenever we kill a minion with, like, Relentless Assault, we would heal, which is what I was talking about with having some healing cards. Bring it to draw extra three Precision Strikes to heal also and deal some damage. Warrior Skill is just to deal extra damage. Uh, add it on, and then two aggressive energy to include more damage, of course, because we're playing aggro. Then, for our deck construction, because he may include three copies of one attack event from aspects other than our chosen aspect, we included three counter punches just to deal some damage without exhausting, and then three stealth strikes to remove threat as well as dealing damage. So, just a clarification on his state of flow ability. It's a permanent setup, force response after you play an attack event. Place it face up on top of here, forming a pile. After the player deck runs out, shuffle each card placed here back into the player deck. Keyword, flow. Look at the top card of the print, uh, top card of here. If a printed resource on that card matches the resource required by the flow ability, you may also resolve its effects. So he has a lot of flow abilities on all his cards. Jen, as a recap for him, he has four recovery. His, he's a martial artist. His multiple forms already went over. Include three attack events of, or three copies of one attack event from each aspect other than your chosen. So we decided to choose aggression. So we have three justice and three defense events. Uh, he's a hit points of nine and uh, hand size of six. You can't see on this side, but I fact checked it on his website. This size it's f uh, five and nine. Uh, hand size and hit points respectively. So his meditate ability is after you change to this form, uh, shuffle a card from state of flow into your deck. So we can be shuffling cards off of this pretty frequently. And then Shang-Chi, uh, he readies after he does a flow ability with his Chi Mastery ability. He's also an Avenger and Hero for Hire. I wish he was designed as a champion because he's chilling with the champions on his alter ego side. It makes sense and I would have built a pretty nasty champion deck with him. Uh, but that's set up aside. We're going to be playing Agro Shang-Chi versus Standard 1 Ebony Maw. I hope you enjoy the video. So let me go ahead and get shuffled and then we can get started. All right, so now that we are shuffled up, we can go ahead and include the modular. And I decided because I haven't played it very often and because it's pretty new to me, we're going to use the Sinister Syndicate modular. So before we get started, let's go ahead and shuffle this up. And then we can do his Rune Reveal ability. And then after that, we can just go ahead and get started with the game. 
I hope you all enjoy these custom uh, hero playthroughs. I hope they're not uh, something that the majority of you dislike. Uh, if they would, I'd probably stop doing them. But hope you all enjoy these and recommend, if you want to, in the comments down below, any uh, custom heroes that you'd want me to play that you found. Uh, send me a link to them, and I'd definitely try my hardest to print them off and play them because I enjoy uh, doing things you'll recommend. All right, so his one revealed ability on Attack on Nowhere is each player discards the top card of their deck until they get a spell, which, sorry, we actually accidentally saw that, but we get a spell, which is the Roll of Storm, and put it into play, shuffle the encounter deck. So, there wasn't really a need to shuffle it, but just because, there technically wasn't a need, but just because I saw the top card, I'm gonna go ahead and just shuffle it anyway. Okay. So this comes in with three invocation counters. It's our turn. So we're gonna draw our hand size of six. We start an alter ego. We drew special delivery. Genius. Okay, that's good. Metal bracers, bring it. Aggressive energy and moment of triumph. Ooh, so bring it we don't need. Moment of triumph we also don't need. But we'll keep these four. We're gonna Get rid of these two. And then draw into Chi Jabs and Dragon Strike. All right. So to start, we're going to go ahead and flip up to Hero Form. We're going to... What do we want to play? We use... Chi Jabs with aggressive energy to deal, hmm. Now we won't use that. We'll do Chi Jabs and aggressive energy to play Dragon Strike and then these two to play, okay. Genius is gonna use to play Special Delivery, which is going to, can we do either of these flow abilities? No. It's going to deal three damage and confuse an enemy. So we're gonna deal three damage more after we attack for one. So it's gonna do one, two, three, four. This goes here. And then we we'll use Chi Jabs and Aggressive Energy to deal six damage with Dragon Strike. Down to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're down to four, I should say. Keeping Metal Bracers, Dragon Strike. I always forget to put it here. So that's our turn, we're gonna ready up, draw the hand size of five, we draw two precision strikes, a relentless assault, and moment of triumph, okay. So scheme's gonna go up by one, Ebony Maul is going to attack us, for one, we're going to defend, this goes down to two. We're going to, he's going to attack for one, four, yeah, I'm glad we defended, so we go down to six health. And then we get our encounter card, which is Crime Pays. Search the encounter deck for an encounter minion or for a criminal minion and put it engaged with you. Uh, shuffle the encounter deck of no minion we're put into play. This card gains search. Okay, so we're going to move the attachment down here. And then the scheme goes over here with three currently on it. And then we search for a criminal minion. Let's find the easiest one. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. After you, he attacks you, deal one damage to each ally. That may be good. When the character attacks Speed Demon, resolve, uh, Speed Demon attacks that character. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Shocker, stun. That's not good. Yeah. The White Rabbit, discard one card around. Yeah, we're going to bring in Boomerang. Because he seems like he's the most tolerable. And then we shuffle this. As long as you don't have allies out. Which you already aren't with the Rebel Storm. So. Boomerang will be. Uh, okay. So. And okay minion. Now it's our turn. We want to get out Metal Bracers. However. It might be a bit hard. With Boomerang out here. So we're going to. Um, hmm, how do we want to do this? We can't pay for everything. We can Relentless Assault.
these two and use your precision strike. <sighs> no. Okay, we're gonna use metal bracers to pay for a precision strike and use this one to pay for another one. It's probably the worst play. Uh, we're gonna play metal bracers instead. These three to bring in metal bracers because we wanna build up our board. We don't wanna go too crazy like we did last game. Which comes in with two um, reflection counters on it. Um, and it's played with two reflection counters. So we're going to have to get those from our trusty box. We haven't bought any replacement for. Just have everything crammed in the core box. Um, and then we're gonna pay for that with these three. Mm. Have we already gotten rid of a Relentless Assault? No. We'll get rid of a Precision Strike, a Relentless Assault, and a third Precision Strike. That sounds good. We get plus one defense, but do we want to stay in... We automatically just have two damage that'll happen to us. Plus a boost, so the most we could get is one, two, three, four, five damage with a defensive two. Um, so we would take three, unless there's an encounter card. I'm fine with that. We're going to stay in hero form. So we're gonna, Yeah, especially because they would have schemed for way more. We're going to ready up, draw to our hand size of five. We have a moment of triumph, which we're keeping. Roundhouse kick. Uh, start nunchuck, nunchucks. Mockingbird and Augmented Blow. Okay. Scheme goes up by one, up to three of six. Goes up by another one, so it's actually up to four because of crime pace. Um, then we get attacked by Ebony Maw, which we will defend with two. It's two plus nothing, so we take... Well, it's one plus nothing, so defense doesn't happen, and then Boomerang attacks us for one. One of these counters will go off. Get our encounter card, which is after uh oh, dang it. He gets an attachment. So we're gonna move Rubble Storm over the attachment right there. Alright, our turn. <laughs> Get one damage to an enemy round that was kick. Augmented blow. Yeah, we're going to oh, there's no thwart potential we have. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have played Metal Bracers. Mm. Moment of Triumph, I think we're going to have to play. <laughs> we're going to use Roundhouse Kick. We're just going to play it to deal th one damage, and it's Flow Ability to deal three, uh, two extra damage. We're going to deal three which will ready us onto Ebony Maw. We'll, we'll ready first, because af it's after you resolve a flow ability. Okay, so we're actually gonna deal with three onto Boomerang instead. One, two, th that's two. And then a third one. We're then going to attack for one that will thwart for one, play the long game. And then flip down to Alter Ego. So then we shuffle a card. We're going to shuffle Roundhouse Kick. Then back into our deck. All right. So then that leaves these three. We're going to say before we flipped, I mean, it's too late to unshuffle, but before we flip, we could play either our start and, start and unchecks. Oh, I actually like that. D1 damage to an enemy. One start and unchecks, which can stun two. I think we have another copy of Augmented Blow. So we're gonna bring in Start Nunchucks. Comes in with three charge counters. We're actually gonna stack these. Three. So then we would have flipped down and 
that's our turn. So then we draw up to four or to six. There we go. There's our cards that we need. There's our cards that we need. The next turn's going to be amazing. Okay, so scheme this up by two. This is going to scheme out because he's automatically going to go two plus two. Yeah, that's, that's way too many. This schemes out, so then we shuffle the encounter discard pile, which is whopping three cards. So this would go off. Deal two damage to each character you control. We don't control ourselves, do we? I don't believe so, so that doesn't do anything. You being just, yeah, I'm pretty sure dealing, it doesn't deal to us. So we won't play like that. So then from here we discard cards till we put a... Um, spell into play with us. Whew. Don't want to see shadows. There's a spell. This reveals. Okay. So then he schemes for two. Bring it up to three. Encounter card. Remove one invocation or remove one invocation counter from each spell so that removes it from there. Our turn. Okay. We're going to go ahead and already heal up to nine. Flip over. <laughs> Relentless Assault. I like this. Hmm. Oh, this is actually good. Roundhouse Kick. Deal one damage to an enemy. Oh, that's to prevent two or more damage from a single attack. We'll throw punch to do one damage to the villain. <sighs> no, we don't want to do that. I guess the overflow is the most that we can do. Um, so we'll use roundhouse kick to pay for a precision strike, which is going to deal two damage to, to him. Then... We're going to exhaust both of these, removing one from here, removing both from here, to stun him and give us a tough. That's what we like to see, ladies and gentlemen. So then we're going to use Strength to play Relentless Assault. If you pay for this with a Fist Resource, this gets uh, Overkill, which we did, so it deals three damage. Boomerangs out. Out of there. Wait, uh, so he's going to go in there. We played that attack event, and we played Precision Strike. Uh, yeah. Dang, somebody's out there on the motorcycle, it sounds like. Um, then we're going to, which deals three. One, two, three. And then lastly, we're going to just play our Throw Punch for free to deal one damage to the villain and draw a card. Drawing into a counter punch. Ooh, that's actually solo for this turn. So we stay stunned. Dang. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Y'all probably can because it's really loud. Jeez. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so someone down the neighborhood seems like they have a motorcycle. Uh, when revealed, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a spell. You know, you know. Normal, uh, normal everybody mall type stuff. Okay, that looks like it's the end of our turn. So we're going to ready up our cards. Does this stay here? Yeah. It doesn't go away. Because it doesn't specify. Because we can add counters on it. So we're going to keep these two cards in hand. Draw three more. Aggressive Energy, Warrior Skill, and Hulk. That's actually pretty solid. Scheme goes up by two, up to five. He's going to attack us for ooh, nothing because he doesn't activate, so these don't go off. And then we get our encounter card. The villain attacks you. We're not defending. So this one goes off. Discard one card at random from your hand. Ooh, please don't be... What is it? What was even our hand? Um, it can be counter punch. We don't need a counter punch. Please, be, please don't be Hulk, though. Okay, warrior skill is not that bad. This one goes down to two. That's his turn. 
tough oh tough would go off he attacked us for two three yeah tough's off um our turn do we play what do we do what do we do what do we do we're gonna thwart for one this goes up this yeah that's in the discard pile we're going to use Counterpunch and Stealth Strike to play Hulk. He's going to come in with three damage. He's going to attack for three. Plus, dang it, discard energy. Three and then deal one damage to each character. Including himself. So, one, two, three. Also. Yeah, I knew it was already going to be like the, uh, that activation because the majority of our decks is energy resources. So then we're going to leave this. We're actually going to. He's, he's going to scheme for two. Uh, no, we're, no, we're not going to do that chance. Because he would, it would already go up by two, which is up to six. And then he would scheme for two. Plus one makes a knockout, so yeah, we're not doing that. We're gonna stay in here for him. We can muscle it out. We draw four cards into Martial Mastery. Augmented Blow, that's what we need. Uh, not that. Bring it and ha uh, Roundhouse Kick. Okay. Skin goes up by two, up to six. So we're gonna take that off and replace it with a five. And then he's going to attack us. Where did I set my hand? Right here. Do we have anything to defend? No, but we can defend with Hulk, who's already exhausted. He's attacking for two. Nothing. Hulk's actually not dead, which is kind of agitating because I can't do anything with him. Um, so then we're going to keep our or it's encounter card time. Encounter card. We get the beetle. After uh, she attacks or damages you, um, discard the lowest cost upgrade you control. That's actually pretty bad. That's actually really bad because um, these are tied. I don't know what happens when they're tied. They probably both do go away, which is really, really bad for us. Um, ooh, augmented blow. That's amazing, actually, for us right now. Uh, martial mastery. When you would use one of your basic abilities, you get plus one. Not the best for us, so we're going to go ahead and can we kill him this turn? 14, 1, yeah, we're going to try. Attack for 1, we probably can't now that I think about it. Um, yeah, we're going to attack for 1, <coughs> down to, f no, what am I doing, 13. We're going to use Martial Master or Aggressive Energy to play... Augmented blow, dealing one damage to an, a minion, and we choose two upgrades and place two counters on each of them. <laughs> so this goes back up to three. This one goes to two. Deal two damage to her. So that's one, two. We activated a flow ability, which goes to our stack, which readies us. Um, we're going to exhaust both of these. Remove two of these to stun Ebony Maw. Remove two of these to give us tough. We're still in the game. We're still in the game. <laughs> We're going to then attack for one. Down to 12. Then we're going to play roundhouse to a roundhouse kick to deal one damage. And because it's a flow ability, it deals two more. So it's one, one, two. Down to nine health. Readying us. We're then going to bring it before doing anything. To draw us a card, wouldn't have affected me at all. We were going to attack for one more onto him, and that's our turn. So we're going to actually going to pitch Martial Mastery and then draw our hand size. We're writing up. That was actually a decent turn. <laughs> drawing stealth. Well, we have stealth strike. Drawing chi jabs, special delivery. Oh yeah, we win this turn. Uh, another stealth strike and Tigra. <laughs> so then scheme goes up by two, which. If we don't either threat, thwart, I mean, or uh, kill him, then we lose. And then he's going to attack us for absolutely nothing because he's stunned. Beetle, we're going to ready Hulk. 
Mew is going to attack us for two, which we're going to have. And then on, uh, she did not damage us. Attach to the friendly character with the highest attack and exhaust it. Attached character cannot ready. Ooh, that's actually bad. Attaching to Hulk. <laughs> uh, it's not the worst. Deal four damage. <laughs> Three. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, this is amazing, actually. Uh, we're going to use... She Jabs and Tigra to play... We're first going to attack for one. Or we're going to thwart. Uh, let's math this out before we do anything. So... If we use these two, it does three damage. Oh, yeah, we went. So we're going to attack for one. Bring down to seven. We're going to use these two to pay for special delivery. Deal three damage. This is the first event you've played. Confuse an enemy. Next attack, because we used its flow ability. These two go in the disco pile. Next attack, we do. Um, next attack event we play from our hand has zero cost. So then we're going to play this card, Stealth Strike, which actually we ready first. We play Stealth Strike, which deals four damage to an enemy, and then removes two threat, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to, hmm, sorry, the dial should have been at two, because we did three damage, he was at nine health. Uh, nine, we did the three damage, one, two, three, down to six. We would have dealt the one damage with Shang-Chi that's down to five. So we would have ready because we did our flow ability. And then our flow ability deals four damage. One, two, three, four, down to one. We would have attacked for one more, killing every maw. All right. That was actually a very, very fun game. I'm The more I play him, the more I love Shang-Chi. I almost love him more than any of the real uh, heroes in the game. He's actually really super fun, and I recommend anyone who is willing to play a custom concert because I know people are some people are purists and I'm nothing against that I, I totally understand that and they don't want to play custom content but I really do recommend him to anyone who wants to because he is man man he is fun he is one of the most fun I've, one of the most fun I've ever had playing the game Marvel Champions and he's not even like real so props to Design Hacker for well designing him uh, you did a really great job and yeah uh, if I made any mistakes, make sure to comment those down below. Um, I'm pretty sure I probably made one or two because I'm not the best with playing him yet. I haven't fully caught up with or been able to get into the the flow, pun intended, with his abilities. Um, but yeah, so if I made any mistakes, comment those down below. With that being said, uh, check out the um, Living Card Game uh, Discord and the Custom Content Discord because the Custom con Content Discord is where I found this. And he's amazing. He's really fun. So with that being said, this will be Shinobi Brogan signing out. Peace.